Yo guys, so in this video I'm going to be doing a little showcase of this program called Infinity Loader. Now if you don't know what Infinity Loader is, um, it basically allows you to run GSC again, Call of Duty for Xbox. Uh, PS3 I think is being added soon, um, you can use this on PC as well, which is pretty cool. So the problem what happened a couple of years ago on Modern Warfare 2 is they bring out a new update which was TU8, or it might have been TU7. And it basically patched every GSC menu and the only menus that you could actually run was either a DLL or a .xcx. And menus haven't been the same since then because everyone has now had to code in C++ because they can't use GSC online. And what this tool allows you to do is pretty much run all of their mod menus again. So you can use stuff like, I think it was MBK, uh, you can use the tree patch, um, pretty much any menu that you ever used before. And the cool thing about this is you can use these menus again online and people can join your games and rank up and do all this crazy stuff again that you, you haven't been able to do on TU8 or TU9. So I'm going to quickly show you what the program's like and what you can pretty much do with it. So once you have the program downloaded, um, it's going to ask you to make an account or sign in. So because I've already made an account, I'm just going to sign in. Now, the only downside to this tool is that it's not free. You do have to pay for it. And the reason why you do have to pay for it is obviously because, you know, it's taken a long time to get, well, for them to get GSC working on all these games. And there is going to be a lot more games, like I said before. So if we go over to the purchase bit, um, this is where you can pay for access and stuff. And once you pay, it will instantly add it to your account. And it's quite cool as well because um, you can buy bundles as well. So if you want Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3 for lifetime, it's only $150. Where if you did it separate, it'd be $99 each or $100 each. So once you have time on the program, um, you're going to get this little option here, which is the compiler. Now, if anyone's ever used like GSC Studio for Black Ops 2, um, it's pretty much the same really, where you do your .gscs in here and then you press compile. Um, so the cool thing with this is some people that have already used this tool has made stuff with it. So if we go to their Discord, which you can get in the description or on their website, um, you'll see all these people that have released their own stuff so if you're looking for like a mob menu base or something like that you can download this one by leaf um, you can download red dot city which was a tu6 menu and um, yeah we've got ai zombies and all that cool stuff again someone's converted uh, that menu from world of war to modern warfare 2 and then the same for like Black Ops 1 as well, so if you've bought the tool to uh, code Black Ops 1 or something, you can download a base here, so there's another base which Leaf has uh, released, or if you want to go to Modern Warfare 3, someone here has made a Spec Ops mod menu for Modern Warfare 3 single player, and Spec Ops, which I've downloaded actually. Um, so yeah, you would pretty much just find what mod menu you'd want to use. So if you want to use a Modern Warfare 3 menu, you'd download a Modern Warfare 3 menu. And then once it's downloaded, you're going to want to go to your documents because Infinity Loader adds like a folder in your documents. And this is pretty much where your projects go. So it's kind of like Black Ops 2 GSC Studio, as I've said. So if we go to projects and then we pick the game that we want the mod menu on. So let's say Modern Warfare 3. I've downloaded this base here, which is a tutorial base by Sirius. So his video will be in the description as well if you want to learn GSC and you want to use this tool as well because this tutorial is really useful if you want to learn how to like make your own mod menu and stuff. And I've downloaded a Modern Warfare 3 Spec Ops mod menu as well. And then if we go back to the tool and we go up here and we press open project, uh, if we pick the game, it will now register all the projects that were in that Modern Warfare 3 folder. 
and we're going to load the model for free spec ops mod menu. And then, yeah, so now it's given us all the files to this one off for free spec ops mod menu. Um, all the coding that's inside it. So, yeah, you can you can add stuff to it if you know GSC. Like, if there's a certain option that you can't see in there and you want it in there, um, you can just find the code to it online. Or if you know how to do it yourself, then code it yourself and press save to this project and then it will save the coding in it. So yeah, because I've got an RGH, I'm going to need to connect this tool to my RGH. So we go to config, or yours may be different than this because I'm using a different version. So you might have to connect it to your console, like in your profile or another tab. But um, so yeah, we're going to pick the game that we're on. So Modern Warfare 3, we're going to choose single player because we want a single player mod menu. And then we're going to connect to the Xbox by clicking this. So then if we go down here, this is where you can send it to the console. Or if you're playing PC, you send it to the PC. Um, so yeah, once you've saved everything in this project, which you can do up here to save project, um, you just want to press compile when you're on the game. And now if I can show you my screen, it will give you like a little notification once it's sent which is pretty cool. So there we go. Now you know that the mod menu is loaded, we can now start a game on Spec Ops. And then yeah, once you spawn in, you're gonna have the mod menu. And obviously you need to figure out what opens the menu and what selects and goes up and down and all that. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now you've got a mod menu to mess around with on Spec Ops. And then yeah, say if you want to download like a mod menu base or something and you want to edit it and stuff and put your own stuff in. I've downloaded Sirius' base, so I'm going to open that. So this is pretty much all that he's coded inside his base, which you can actually watch on his YouTube channel if you want to learn how to make your own stuff. Um, he goes through everything, like pretty much saying what everything does really, how to make functions, how to make a scrolling system in the menu, how to make a, like how to put a shader on the screen and stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm going to quickly show you what this menu base looks like on Modern Warfare 2. But yeah, hopefully this video has been useful to you. Um, I just wanted to do a video on this tool because you know there's so much stuff you can do now on these games where we were always limited because of C++ and having to use DOL menus. And yeah, if you think I should do more tutorials on like how to add stuff into projects and stuff with this tool, uh, be sure to let me know in the comments. And be sure to like this video as well.